This video will cover mean arterial pressure in three simple steps. Number one, mean arterial pressure is an average or calculated mean of the blood pressure in the arteries. It is important to point out that mean arterial pressure is not meant to be an average of the blood pressure in all blood vessels of the body, but rather an average of the blood pressure in the arteries. Blood pressure is at its highest when blood first leaves the heart and blood pressure decreases as it continues to flow throughout the blood vessels of the body. The aorta is where blood pressure is at its highest, as this is the blood vessel that receives the blood from the left ventricle of the heart. When blood pressure is measured in a clinical setting, using a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope, the blood pressure measurement is an estimate of the blood pressure in the aorta. A commonly asked question is, why are blood pressure measurements taken on the arm if the aorta is not located on the arm? The answer is that blood pressure measurements taken on the arm are taken on the brachial artery, which has very similar blood pressure values as the aorta. Thus, while blood pressure measurements taken on the arm are not a direct measure of blood pressure in the aorta, the brachial artery is very near the aorta, and blood pressure has not had an opportunity to decrease very much since flowing from the aorta into the brachial artery. Similarly, Increases or decreases in blood pressure in the aorta result in corresponding increases and decreases in blood pressure in the brachial artery. For these reasons, blood pressure in the brachial artery has been viewed as an appropriate location to assess blood pressure in the arterial system. Number 2. Mean arterial pressure is calculated from systolic and diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is higher in the aorta when the heart contracts as compared to when the heart is at rest. This is why a blood pressure reading has two numbers, such as 118 over 74. 118 is the systolic pressure, meaning the blood pressure in the brachial artery when the heart contracts, and 74 is the diastolic blood pressure, meaning the blood pressure in the brachial artery when the heart is at rest. It is also important to point out, pressure has units of millimeters of mercury. However, in blood pressure readings, the units of millimeters of mercury are often not used, and the blood pressure reading is read simply as 118 over 74. The difference between the systolic and diastolic pressure is known as the pulse pressure. In this example of blood pressure being 118 over 74, the pulse pressure would be calculated by subtracting 74 from 118. 118 minus 74 equals 44. The pulse pressure is significant because formulas for calculating mean arterial pressure often include pulse pressure. A common formula for mean arterial pressure is mean arterial pressure equals pulse pressure times one-third plus diastolic blood pressure. Another common formula leaves out the term pulse pressure, though the calculation is still in the equation. For example, mean arterial pressure equals systolic blood pressure minus diastolic blood pressure divided by 3 plus diastolic blood pressure. In this case, the term pulse pressure is not used in the formula. However, since the formula shows diastolic blood pressure is to be subtracted from systolic pressure, the value for pulse pressure is still present in the equation, even if this value is never referred to by its formal name of pulse pressure. Since mean arterial pressure is calculating a pressure, the units used are millimeters of mercury, mmHg. In our example of taking a blood pressure reading of 118 over 74, we can calculate a pulse pressure of 44, which divided by 3 is 14.6, and added to 74 is 88.6, or 89 millimeters of mercury. Notice both formulas result in a mean arterial pressure of 89 millimeters of mercury. So while it is possible to see formulas for mean arterial pressure in various formats, they are still calculating the same result. Additionally, while it is common to leave off the units in a clinical blood pressure reading, millimeters of mercury are often used for mean arterial pressure. Thus, if a client has a blood pressure reading of 118 over 74, the mean arterial pressure is 89 millimeters of mercury. In calculating the mean of two numbers, it would be common to add the two numbers, then divide the sum of these numbers by two. If this were done with our example of 118 over 74, then the calculation would be 118 plus 74 equals 192, and 192 would be divided by two to give a final answer of 96. However, 
This value is higher than the calculated mean arterial pressure of 89 millimeters of mercury. Why does the formula for mean arterial pressure result in a lower value than the standard formula for arithmetic mean? The answer lies in heart function. Blood pressure is highest in systole when the heart is contracting, and blood pressure is lowest during diastole when the heart is at rest. The heart does not spend equal amounts of time in systole as in diastole, however. When a person is in a resting state, such as sitting during a blood pressure reading, the heart spends more time in diastole than in systole. Therefore, an accurate average blood pressure would be a blood pressure that represents the diastolic blood pressure more so than the systolic blood pressure. For this reason, the formula for mean arterial pressure allows for the calculation of a mean closer to the diastolic blood pressure than the systolic blood pressure. In other words, in the case of the standard average calculation, where two numbers are added together and then divided by two, the diastolic blood pressure is not adequately represented. This formula would only work if the heart spent exactly the same amount of time in diastole as in systole. Since the heart spends more time in diastole than in systole, the calculation for mean arterial pressure must also factor in the proportion of time spent in diastole and systole. One important consideration with this is that the formulas that are presented to calculate mean arterial pressure are formulas with the assumption that the individual was in a resting condition when the systolic and diastolic blood pressure values were obtained. During exercise, as heart rate increases, diastole shortens, which subsequently increases the amount of time the heart spends in systole. Therefore, the formulas for mean arterial pressure are only accurate when blood pressure is measured during a resting state. If a blood pressure reading is taken during exercise, these formulas for mean arterial pressure would not be accurate and should not be used. For more information on systole and diastole, see the video on the function of the heart on this channel.